that Kevin, Kevin McCullough. And we continue with my exclusive sit-down with Paris Patel of The Chosen. ...to get to to know their own child. And I think when you're part of something that's literally bringing families together, Mm -hmm. having them understand and uh, communicate well, uh, that's just... You don't see that every day. There's a reason why this show has over 600 million viewers, because you're seeing things like that. You're you're giving families um, hope, but also you're allowing them to communicate with their children and it you know a lot of parents feel pressure they sometimes might feel like a failure when they don't feel like they're communicating well with their well, the kids. human element is something that bleeds through every yes. frame of the show to the screen and I think that that's one of the reasons why people that observe Christianity have found it an easy tool to um, invite friends to watch with them and as they're thinking about big issues of good and evil and right and wrong and, mm-hmm. and faith and belief and all that stuff it's it's, it's provided a landing strip where people can say, hey, um, I would just like to introduce you to what the message of this person historically was all about. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you about tactics, uh, just uh, for some of the time that we have here. The, um, can I just add on to what you go ahead. Yeah, you know what's really cool is that I have friends that are not religious, and they said, it's just a good show. I love this. I know the story. I've, I've grown up with it. But just seeing the backstory yep. and just what... You know how how it how it's so plausible that life could have been just like the way our lives were back you know right now uh, has been very motivating to people. That's what I meant. The human element is yeah, universal. like anybody relates to, and it's yeah. just I you know I will admit I you know sometimes judge the material you know, but I've been so grateful that it's inspired and, and opened something up in me and experiencing my my part in this. Is that a common thread that you guys on the set have? have kind of experienced together, especially those of you that have been together for all four seasons, because the newer people haven't been there, <laughs> yeah. but those We're of you that were there on day yeah. one, yeah. I mean, this has been quite a ride. It's been, you know, we, and that's what keeps us humble. When you start something where nobody is even wanting to talk to you, you know, like me, media an wise. App? Yeah, We're going to put app? this on an what app? What is this? Never unheard. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, you know, first four episodes, don't even know if we'll finish the, sh- the first season yeah. kind of thing. And uh, to be where we are, I just got back from Brazil and we premiered there. I had people there thanking me because they didn't even know about the term autism, but they're seeing mm-hmm. this through Matthew's portrayal and realizing that they have, they have a loved one that is probably on the spectrum as well. So they're, they're finding, they're learning. That's the impact that this show is having. And yeah. it's, it's just so rare. And I know you probably know that. It's great when I yeah. um, have you guys on the show because afterwards I'll post and um, oftentimes on the podcast, uh, people from... Brazil, Spain, Italy, other places yeah. really hitting the like button because they're they're excited and they know it's coming their way. Did you ever have that before? Like as an audience, is it? Uh, well, or is it... Um, yeah, on some level, just because the digital arena, there's gotcha. no barriers to it. But I have noticed specifically where you guys are distributed and where <laughs> things come from kind of has a concurrence. Um, season four, mm-hmm. kind of a different way of releasing it, went straight to the theaters. Yeah. Um, had a great run, by the way, for only being. They in brought it back. Theaters. They a brought the weeks people and then wanted for it. Yeah, weekend, yeah. It was there. Um, the, so, is it? Are you guys movie stars now, or is it still a TV show? Like, how do you think of this? Is such a oh. kind of all-encompassing, multi-platform? We're going we are, everywhere that they'll let us, kind of thing. I think I can speak on behalf of our entire show, saying we are just people wanting to motivate and impact the world we are nothing we're just <laughs> okay. telling the story because we're passionate about it that's a great i answer. think that's what you can see on camera is our bonds off camera and that kind of shows into our characters our dynamics and we really just harmonize well together we're so close and i know you've probably heard it from others but we've been through the ups and downs like you just um you know when i think about uh just even what we go through filming like weather lightning strikes, having to get shut down, oh, all the turmoil. The yeah, it, it, but we're just, we're this unit that's just so close. So we have been through the ups and downs. And I think when you've seen people at their low lows and high highs, um, it just keeps you humble. And there's there's no other way. I would never see myself as this movie star, as TV star. Yeah. I'm just someone that's kind of found his purpose and, and making an impact in my own way and representing uh, the autism community and showing them that they are uh, belong in this world and they You're are seen included and seen yeah. and just kind of giving representation what it needs. I think a lot of people grow up not feeling like they are represented and seen and I think this just gives someone confidence into feeling like they can they can be a Matthew. 
All right, uh, Paris Patel, thank you for being with us. Uh, and of course, uh, the entire universe of what Jesus was about was making sure that everybody, from the rich rulers to the uh, the poorest and the most needy, mm -hmm. um, found their way back to God through his message and through his time. Thank you for sharing some with us tonight. We yeah. appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm glad I finally made your list of <laughs> chosen people when, to me. When they said he's coming to New York, I said, I got it. Yes, to it. we did it. We did it. Hopefully it's not our last conversation. Yeah. Stick around for more.